So I'm Rafael Matos. I'm just a kid from the Bronx. Grew up in the inner city. So that's very important to my identity and who I am because it shapes a lot. I think that I grew up in a very loving environment, but unfortunately society didn't see it that way. You know, and I think that that really informed who I am as a person growing up. Uh, and even into my young adult life, and it still continues to be an influence now, but I think I'm much more mature, and I've had different life experiences that help me to think differently and to sort of incorporate different points of view with the, those that form my core and foundation. Hey, how we doing out there? All right, I'm excited to be here. Uh, over the weekend, had an opportunity to go talk to some students at a university. And I had a young woman ask me about my fraternity experience. And I said, oh yeah, I can talk to you about it. And I'm, always, I'm the kind of person I like to understand why. Why do you want to know something? Because then it helps me to better answer your question. And she says to me, well, she, she was a black woman, and she said she was being recruited by a historical white Greek letter sorority. And she said, I felt like they only wanted me because they needed to be more diverse. I felt like a token. So I'm not sure if I really want to join a sorority. The work that I do, I do it for, for those folks, those people who may have been told that, they, that what they bring to the table, who they are, doesn't matter. You know, I, I like to talk to people, and particularly young people, professionals as well, but in particular young people, because I reflect on myself at their age, right? The 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 microaggressions that we experience, the the invalidations that we see on a regular basis that are just normalized because that's just the way things are. So the work that I do for me is about helping to empower them, to find their voice, to be able to say, you know, it's okay, it's okay. If you're upset, like, that's okay for you to be upset. If you want to show your emotions and display that, that's okay. And I don't think we hear enough of that, because again, it's about how do you present a polished version of yourself. Here is someone who is, before she even joins the organization, is feeling marginalized and excluded. So that really got me to thinking. People are not props. And in everyday work that I do, that is very important to me. I like to treat people like people. Deal with annoyances, sometimes it's a blessing, sometimes it can be annoying, right? But people are people. And in that moment, she said she felt like a prop. Think about that. How are you creating spaces that affirm people and support them and, don't, and does not treat them like props, like objects that are there just so you can validate your own existence and who you are? And I think that if you dig deeper, that that's what sisterhood and brotherhood is about. So thank you very much.